Hey guys, Kyle Studer at kylestuder.com. In this video, I want to talk with you about uh, Brian Tracy. Uh, he's an author, motivational speaker, uh, leader in the sales industry, and uh, he's had a big impact on a lot of my approach in selling. I've read a lot of his books. I've got a few of them here. Uh, if you want to get motivated, I suggest you check out this book, Maximum Achievement by Brian Tracy. The Psychology of Selling. There's some great one-liners in here that you can learn some really valuable things that will translate straight to life insurance and just to better understand the process to get another perspective uh, on the sales process. <clears throat> great books to read, but I want to share with you something I found. I'm going through some old notes from my MLM days. Uh, I've got this, a couple of these notebooks full of notes uh, from conferences, seminars, meetings, things I've learned. And I'm going to start diving into some of that and just kind of picking out what I think are some good nuggets to share with you, uh, things that I remembered or things that had an impact on me at the time. So this is one thing I had written down at some point. Um, Brian Tracy's 10 Rules for Success. And I'm going to give those to you. So rule number one, don't live on someday aisle. You know, like an island. <clears throat> someday aisle. Well, someday... I'll save up enough money to buy these direct mail leads and get started in my final expense business. Well, someday I'm going to sell the house, downsize and simplify, cut my bills down so that I can be more flexible and spend more time with my family so I can start running my business and learning this skill. Well, someday, uh, you know, I'm an experienced producer. Someday I might create a website and start creating some video content to attract agents so I can have a life insurance agency. So I can give to others what I've learned throughout the process. You know, well, someday I'll get out of debt, treat my wife better, get back in shape, stop watching so much TV. Someday I'll start getting up early again. Someday I'll start getting to bed earlier. Someday I'm going to start going to church again. Someday I want to get back in a Bible study. Someday, rule number one, Brian Tracy, don't live on someday I'll do better blank. Find out what's important. Do it now. I read a quote the other day. I said, the best time to plant a tree, a tree that you would like climb, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is right now. Rule number one, don't live on someday aisle. Rule number two, learn from experts. Learn from people who do something at a high level. For example, we focus in final expense. I know a lot of information. I have applied. I've been on a lot of appointments. I've read. I've worked with this carrier, that carrier. I found products that will cover this health condition, that health condition. I know a lot about final expense. And guess what? There's still people who know more about it than I do. But learn from experts. So if you want to learn final expense, let's talk. If you want to learn Medicare, we sell Medicare, but I'm going to leverage somebody else to teach you. I'm going to take Brian Tracy's advice. I'm going to leverage an expert in Medicare so you can learn Medicare. Not from me from an expert. This is a big deal, especially in this industry. You should be picking the brains of the people who are the most successful, the experts in your industry, the ones who are successful, who have made a living doing this business. So rule number two is learn from experts. You'll save a lot of time, a lot of heartache. Rule number three, Find your life purpose. This is one a lot of people struggle with. 
I'm, and I'm, I'm just going to go through the top 10. I'm not going to talk on every single one of these points, but find your life purpose. You know, is it your relationship with God? Is it your wife, your family, your children? What is it for you? What is your life purpose? Is it how you conduct your behavior? How do you behave with other people? How you make other people feel on a day in and day out basis? What is your life purpose? Rule number four, learn to manage your time. Take an inventory of your time. One day, get a piece of paper, and every half an hour, write down, just for one day, that's two times per hour, you're going to write down what you're currently doing. Every half an hour, write down what you're doing. No one's got to see it, so it could be as embarrassing as you could imagine. 8 a.m. might be hmm, eating a popsicle. Might be just got back from a run. About to jump in the shower. 8.30, getting dressed. 9 o'clock, dialing the phone. 9.30, dialing the phone. 10 o'clock, dialing the phone. 10.30, dialing the phone. Keep an inventory. Manage your time. Learn to concentrate your efforts, guys. I heard this also from Jordan Belfort. One of the biggest things that he talked about was learning to work with concentrated time frames. That means when you're in the field, be in the field. Don't let your mind think about anything else. When you're in the field on this day, that's your field day. Work your butt off because you only have this much time. Work your butt off like you've got a list of buyers. Go, go, go. Rejection, get up fast. Get to the next one. No show, get up fast. Go to the next one. In these blocks of time, run. Work. When you're off work, don't be working. Be with your family. Manage your time. Structure his fifth tip for success. I think this is kind of interesting. His fifth, here, I'm sorry, his fifth rule for success. Structure your goals as questions. For example, I want a Tesla. You could structure it. How much money do I need to have coming in per month in order for me to go down to the dealership and buy a Tesla? In a form of a question, how do I get the Tesla? What needs to happen for me to go buy the Tesla to make that real? Or whatever you're, you may want. Tesla or a car or a house or whatever it is that you may want. Structure your goals as questions. Rule number six for Brian Tracy's 10 Rules of Success. Think rich. Rule number seven. Don't quit. Don't quit. I talk about that a lot. Stay in the fight. I talk about Rocky Balboa a lot. Not really a polished fighter. Not a skilled athlete per se. Just a tough SOB. Got knocked down. Got back up. Got knocked down. Got back up. After a while, the skilled fighter, why can't I think of his name? Apollo Creed. Apollo Creed was an incredible athlete, skilled, chiseled, incredible shape, heavyweight champ of the world, very talented. He would beat up on Rocky, jab, jab, right hook, jab, jab, right hook, body, right hook. Rocky's just walking, getting hit, he'd get knocked down. After a while, Apollo Creed was beating on this man, and he just kept getting up. And he starts to get discouraged. He's giving him everything he's got, and this guy keeps getting up. So, Brian Tracy's 10th rule for success. I'm sorry, Brian Tracy's 7th rule for success is do not quit. Tip number 8, be an example. 
Be a good example. That means you have to work on yourself and be cognizant of how you behave and how you conduct your business and your life. You're going to be cognizant. You're going to start thinking about being an example. What will they think? What do I want them to see? What kind of example do I want to present? So, rule number eight is be an example. Rule number nine, form good habits. Right back there. Oh, I'm sorry. Right there, the yellow book. The power of habit. Charles Duhigg. A couple habits I'll give you. Wake up in the morning. Drink a glass of ice water. Go for a walk, a brisk walk. Go for a jog early. Wake up at five. If you can't do that, wake up at six. Wake up at 7, then kick it back. Wake up at 6.30, wake up at 6, wake up at 5.30, wake up at 5. Get those first couple hours to yourself in solitude. Nothing's going on. Read a little bit. Pray, meditate, whatever you do. Get in the Bible, get in another book. Prep the mind. Get to bed early. Benjamin Franklin says, Early to bed, early to rise, Makes a young man happy, healthy, and wise. Benjamin Franklin said that, I believe. Um, but waking up early is a great habit to cultivate. And you know what's interesting about that book back there? There were things called keystone habits. These were habits that were so powerful that if you work to cultivate this one habit, they spill into other areas of your life. They have a compounding effect. I'll give you an example. Waking up at 5. Waking up early and exercising. Exercise affects the mind, the body. It affects what you want to eat when you're done. You, you begin to eat healthier. You want to stay in shape and exercise. You sleep better. You feel better. You're happier. You have endorphins. You boost your mood. Exercise. Wake up early and exercise. Great habit. Many other good habits that he mentioned earlier like time management or another book that he's written called Eat That Frog. Find out your toughest task for the following day. Do it first thing in the morning. Is it a five mile run? Is that the hardest thing you do? Good. Start the day with that. Is it making your sales calls? Is it you love meeting with clients in person? You don't really love just yet. You don't love dialing the phone to set up your appointments. Do that first. Do that when you're fresh. First thing in the morning, boom, eat that frog. And now the rest of the day, there's nothing left. There's nothing else that could be tougher than what you did this morning. Eat that frog. Good habit to form. And the last rule, Brian Tracy's 10 rules for success, the last rule is never give up on your dream. And I just put out a video just uh, probably yesterday or the day before about make sure it's your dream. Don't give up. Never give up on your dream. And what my video talked about was don't buy somebody else's dream. Make sure it's your dream. Go after what you want and don't apologize for it. If it's a big dream, don't apologize. If, it's, if some people say it's a small dream, relative to what? It's unlikely you're going to be the richest person in the world. So there's always going to be somebody with more. There's always going to be some, somebody with a bigger dream or a smaller dream. Who cares about what they want? Run your race. Put your blinders on. Worry about you. Worry about your God. Worry about your family. Worry about your life. And build that. Never give up on your dream. His 10th rule for success. He says your dreams keep you young. So let's recap. Brian Tracy's top 10 rules for success. Number one, don't live on someday aisle. Learn from the experts. Find your life purpose. Manage your time. Structure your goals as questions. Think rich. Don't quit. Be an example. Form good habits. Never give up on your dream. Guys, I hope this video has helped you or taught you something or added value to you in some way. Uh, I recruit and train life insurance agents, and as I said, 
What I know is final expense. I've spent my whole life insurance career, October of 2021 will be eight years of me being in the industry. And everything I've done has been final expense, term life, simplified issue life insurance products to middle America, low income America, average Joes, normal people that you would see at Walmart. That's what I do. If you want to know more about working with me, you want to work as a side hustle, you're an experienced agent, you want to build a team, you see value in what I'm doing, you want to build a brand, you think you want to stop building your IMOs company, you want to build your own deal, you want to brand yourself, go to kylestuder.com, scroll to the bottom, there's a contact card, and I look forward to speaking with you.